Hey guys, today I want to show you on how to um, bypass the Google account on a um, Galaxy Own 5. Samsung Galaxy Own 5, as you can see, as you can see, it has the um, it has the um, Google account on it. So here's what you got to do. First, first thing you got to do is um, connect it to the internet. You got to be online to be able to do this. So we're going to go all the way back to the beginning right here to the setup. And um, next thing you got to do, you got to be quick on this guy. So um, just pay attention on this step right here. We're going to go to emergency call and we're going to type in 112. Okay. Next step we're going to do is we're going to dial, we're going to press the green button here to call and uh, you're going to see what I'm going to do next. But basically you're going to swipe to the left, you're going to, you're going to hit the speaker, turn it on and swipe to the left until you see the internet button on top. And then you got to hit that button, the internet, and then hang up. Because this will call 911. And um, you don't want to um, mess with 911. So, so uh, okay, so 112. We're going to call. And we're going to hit the speaker here. As soon as we hear the thing, we're going to start swiping left. Okay, you heard the 911 there, so I hang up real quick. So you got to be fast. Hit the internet and then hang up. If um, they pick up, just say, I'm sorry, I dialed by mistake or I got a wrong number. So we're going to go to Google here. I'm going to hit OK. All right, we're going to accept that. We're going to hit No Thanks. And on top, we're going to type in google.com. All right, we go google.com. It's right here. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in Samsung. Samsung apps. Yeah, right do a search for Samsung apps we go up and we're gonna click we're gonna click on the second link right here that's the link you want we're gonna click on that and it's gonna take you to this page right here we're gonna go up a little bit go past that picture go past the second picture the third one and all of this and you're gonna go all the way down and we're going to go to uh, go to Galaxy Apps right here. You're going to need a Samsung account for this, um, which you if you don't have one, you can create one. It takes like two minutes. So I do have one. So we're going to do a search right here for. ES. File. Explorer right here. ES File Explorer. That's what you want. And we're going to download right here the Fire Explorer. It's going to ask you for the account right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video and come back to you guys when I sign in. All right, guys, I'm in. As you can see, you're going to accept this right here, the download. And as you can see, it's, um, it's fast. So it all depends on your internet connection, but it shouldn't take that long. So, um, here we go. It's installing right now, so you're going to see. So, after you finish the installation, you're going to hit the play button here. And it's going to take you to the files. All right, guys. So, at this point right here, you're going to need a uh, SD card to download all the files. I'm going to leave uh, the link. On, on on you know on the bottom of this video you're gonna get the link so I'm gonna look for my um, SD card uh, the one that I have the, the all the files in 
So here we go. That's my SD card right there. I'm going to click on it. And I have all the files that you, you're going to have the link to download too. So what we want to do here, we're going to click right here on Android 6.1. I recommend you to download all the files. You might need it for a different phone later on. So the 6.1 here, we're going to install that. We're going to go here. We're going to, we're going to go to settings. And we're going to allow unknown sources right here. We click OK on this. So it's going to click, we're going to click install. So, all right, we're going to click done. It's going to go, it's going to take us back to the file. And then we're going to click on the yellow um, icon here, the quick, uh, quick shortcut. And we're going to install it. We're going to have to do the settings again. Allow unknown sources and install. So um, that's basically what you got to do. You got to we're going to hit open right here, and right here we're going to type in Google Account Manager. Google Account Manager right there. I'm going to bring my keyboard down so you can see it better. We're going to go down to uh, type email and password. That's where we want to go. Type email and password. And then we're going to go to try. All right. After you're here, you're going to click the three buttons on top. And we're going to go to browser, browser sign in. That's where you want to go. Browser sign in. All right, here, the only thing you got to do is put in uh, your own Google account. I'm going to pause the video so I can log into my Google account. All right, guys, I'm in my Google account right now. So right now, the only thing you got to do is go all the way back to the main um, setup screen. Just keep, hit, keep hitting back to get to the main, uh, to the beginning the setup screen I'm gonna have to hit back like 10 times so here we are so I'm gonna show you here that the account is not there anymore it's not gonna ask you for a password or anything this might take a little bit of time because it's gonna check for the account and everything but it's not gonna ask you for a password so here we go okay it's, it's gonna you see we don't have the all account in there so we're gonna hit next. We're gonna hit next on that. And this might take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna pause the video and I'll come back to you guys. Once I get the, the next screen, I'll come back to you guys, thanks. All right, guys, I'm back. And this is the screen you're gonna get. So uh, it's telling me that I'm signing in, but it's gonna be your own Google account. So just keep hitting next. You don't wanna put a password right now, so. So it's not gonna ask you for a password. You're gonna have your Google account there, which if you wanna reset the phone, you could after you get in. It's not, it's not gonna be locked anymore, so. And we're going to finish right here. So that's basically it. If you want to reset your phone, the only thing you're going to need is your own password. So um, you're good. You're in the phone. It's working. 100% working. So uh, thank you, guys. Have a great day. Bye.